Now I went to the store and I got some sandpaper and all I wanted was medium grit sandpaper and I only wanted one piece. Well after looking at this project, I'm glad I got more than one piece. Here I got six pieces and this is like a medium grit. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold this over like that. I don't, I don't need a big long piece. I could have cut that in half, but let's try that. It's almost like a sanding block too. Let's get up here and see right here as a matter of fact. Can you see me camera person? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's nice. That almost makes all of that go away. You like that? Yeah. Feel it as you go. I'm gonna concentrate on these lines more than the rest of it. Just vertical strokes there. Once that gets painted up, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna have to put two coats on there, but I'm gonna feel on there and the rest of this, I'm just going to give it a once over, lighter. Because that's just going to etch this. And now I can see where there's some runs in here too. Of the paint, the existing paint, now that's gone away. You like that? So Joe, you're not technically taking up all the paint. No, no, no. Just where I think, where the, where the, where it's, where it's kind of dribbled right there, I can see that. Boy, somebody is after Joe again. <laughs> You're just gonna concentrate on one section at a time. You might want a little dust mask if you have one. Put that on. And see, hardly anything has gotten stuck onto my, my sanding pad. And it's nice and thick now, and it, I can kind of push into it because I've, I've folded it over. I don't want to just rip this off and have just one little piece of sandpaper. Okay, so this, is, this in itself is going to take a while. Now I can hold it like that. Nice. Am I a professional painter? Hey, I hope you know what that answer is. I've told you before, I'm not a professional painter, and I never want to be. I do just enough paint to say, wow, I'm glad with, with that. I'm, I'm glad I'm done with that project. I sure wouldn't want to do that every day. But when I get ready to do something, I want to do it right, because the last thing I want to be left with is to make it look like a professional painter did this whole project. And that Joe didn't even exist. That's what you want when you're doing your painting project too. And to save money. Yes, to save money. Keep that money in your pocket and, and the money that you save, you can start you can start buying some some nice tools for your next project and all that. Don't think you're wasting your money. Oh, I gotta get a paintbrush, I gotta get a paint uh, tray, sandpaper, scraper blades, what else do I need? Air goggles, dust masks. You know, but you can use that for other little projects. I know when a little paint touch-up project comes along, you can, you can work on that too, because now you've got all the little paintbrushes and everything else, okay? All right, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on this. I've got lots of rails to do here, but I'm glad we scraped off these areas first. You know, let's try let's try an area since I'm right here. This this little bit right over here has not been scraped. Let's see how well this does without using the scraper blade on it, shall we? I guess that happens to work too. Maybe we don't have to use a two inch putty knife all along here but if you've got if you've got loads of paint on here two or three 
different paint project layers after layer after layer you may not get through them all this way okay what this does it just breaks down the the thick edge if you didn't paint if you didn't sand at all you're gonna have you're gonna see all these little flake bits that you just removed with with your putty knife if you don't sand them down see how see how well that blends in to the existing okay keep her going now the question is should I be using gloves for this yeah probably I thought maybe I couldn't feel the pipe as much to feel it as smooth. Try it out and see how you feel it with, the, with your glove. You want a fairly thin glove, by the way. And then after you work on it, go back over it, maybe when you're done with this rail, and feel it with your hands. See if you can feel anything, because if you can feel it by your touch, after you get done painting, you know you're going to feel that too, especially if somebody takes their hand and they're walking along here like they should be. You don't want them to feel all the little imperfections, okay? That's why you've got to spend a lot of time with this. The painting's probably going to be the quickest thing on this project, did you know? We'll see. So, keep her going. Here, after you fold this up like this, you're using it right here. Let's say after a while this starts feeling smooth. Just remember where that part is. Now you can flip it over and use this one. Then you can flip it over like this and use this one. Okay? Then you can flip it backwards like that because now all the sanding is on the inside. Now you've got a new sanding pad there. You've got a new sanding pad there. You've got a new sanding pad there. Okay, keep flipping back and forth like that. Then, when you have to, you can open this up and you can push that in and you can go again. Here's six new layers. One, two, three, four, five, six. When that's done, you've got these, okay? So, one piece of sandpaper this size can do a lot. I'm glad I'm not a painter. I'm glad I'm not a painter. I'm glad I'm not a painter. I'm gonna be glad when this job's done. I don't know why I took it. I'm not sure why I'm working for free. I'm not sure work I'm working for free. Why I'm working for free. I'm glad I'm not a painter. I'm tired of this, I wanna go home. But I wanna do a good job. I have to do a good job. I'm so glad job's going to be done, then I will never have to do it again. I'll never have to do it again. I'll have it on video. I'll have it on video. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a painter. I'm so happy I'm not a painter. I'd hate to be a painter. Aww. I'd hate to be a painter. I'd hate to be a painter. I'd hate to be a painter. I'd be so glad when this job gets done. But the community will thank you for it, Joe. Yeah, I'm going to be looking forward to this being done, but it's all in the prep. Do a good job. Just about ready to get into the paint. But before we do that, we got one more step to do. Make sure you get around any brackets. I got a little wire brush here because these were dirty. I should have cleaned these and done a little bit of this prep work before I put the masking tape down, but I didn't. So now I'm doing it now. Just can't put paint over dirt, you know what I mean? Don't want that. Make sure you get this sanded down here at the bottom too. We're just wanting to lightly put a brush on there. That'll help our paint stick. Okay, when you get all done, Sweep it, sweep it off. Are we ready to paint, Anna? We sure are. No, and I want to see the surprise you have. No, we're not. There's one more we're thing not. we have to do after you brush it down. Okay, oh. one more step. 
That's right, I think I know what it is. I've got a bucket of water and a sponge. I'm just gonna use my, I'm gonna leave my gloves on because they're nylon and there's holes in them, they're breathable and rubber on this side. I'm just gonna leave them on. I can rinse them off when I get done. Or you can do it without. I'm just gonna wipe this down to get all the dust residue out. That's gonna look nice. That's about the same color as our paint. See how much nicer that's gonna look than this here. Okay, this will get the rest of the dust off, at least the majority of it. That's why I wiped it down first with the broom or a rag. If you had a rag, you could do it with the rag too. And this will this will be dry just in a few minutes. Depending how much of a rail you have, wherever you start. Then when you get done cleaning everything up, then as I paint, guess what? I'm probably going to start right here and work that way. Or I'll look and strategically see what areas in the shade. Maybe I'll do that first, do the sun part last so that, or, or vice versa. You know, so when I get done with the first coat, I'll be ready with the next coat wherever I start. Look on your paint can. This one in particular, the paint that I'm going to use, it says it's it should dry in about a half hour, dry to the touch, where I can put the second coat on. So that's pretty slick. Plus, it's a nice day. It's slightly breezy outside. That's going to help it dry the paint. So just continue. And like I said, you do a good job with the prep work and your painting it's just gonna look better. If I don't do this step here, the paint could have a tendency to not want to stick 100% in all areas because it's got a dust layer on it. See, you got a thin film of dust on here. And that's bad. You don't want to paint over dust. Okay. All right. I'll keep this going and I'll be right back to you and talk to you about the paint. Oh, I'm so glad it's time to start doing the paint. I've been working on this. We've been working on this for, for several hours now. And initially, I wasn't planning on doing all this prep work, but I'm glad I had the extra sandpaper here and the newspaper and the masking tape and all that. Be ready for your project. That's what this video is gonna help you, hopefully, with when you get ready to do your painting, you'll be able to do it because you've, you've kind of set up for it. You can know that, hey, if I can do it, you can do it. Not a professional painter, like I said, and you don't have to be a professional painter either, okay? And you're saving some money. All right. I'll be right back.